In Carby County, one nonprofit organization is offering resources for veterans suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder through its programs. 2822 News reporter Amelia Sack joins us now with more. Amelia? That's right, Candace. June is recognized as National PTSD Awareness Month. According to the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, seven out of 100 veterans will suffer from PTSD at one point in their lives. I spoke with one organization doing their part in making a positive impact on the lives of those who have served our country. Helping Veterans Heal is the mission of Veterans Unstoppable, a program created by the Valor Clinic Foundation. We do a journey through their life and, and uh, targeting uh, specific areas where maybe they've been having some trouble to help them rebuild a better future. They do this through small group discussions and outdoor activities completely free of charge. The vets feel more comfortable talking with other vets. He adds that at times veterans don't feel as though they are truly heard by medical professionals. To a certain degree we have to acknowledge somehow as a country that there's just not a lot of lab coats in a foxhole and not a lot of camouflage in a lab, right? Robert Putney is a recent graduate of Veterans Unstoppable. He says the experience has done more than just help him grow as a person. Help, um, yeah, it helps, but it's it's such a you know maybe the other H word of healing is just can you can feel that more. There's a lot of healing that happens. Putney is even working toward becoming a facilitator and mentor to help others heal. I would say this is a gift you can give yourself. And by giving this gift to yourself, you're giving it to the people that are involved in your life. Glenn Lippincott, a Purple Heart recipient and Vietnam combat veteran, is on the board of directors at the Valor Clinic Foundation. After serving, Lippincott felt a different sense of purpose. I kept thinking, maybe maybe I'm being saved for something. And when this came along, I, I kind of got that feeling that this is it. Lippincott has been with the program since the start. He says graduates come out of the program with their hearts repaired and restored. The Valor Clinic Foundation has recently expanded to Camp Trexler's facilities in Monroe County, and they are in need of volunteers for projects there this summer. For more information on these events, head over to PAHomepage.com. Candice, back to you. Thank you.